Prince Khalid, he was kind and a gentleman. He was one of the pillars of the bloodstock breeding and racing industry of the world. He had a great understanding of horses and a great understanding of people. He was incredibly humorous, steely, tough. You'd better be on your metal and on the ball with him. As an owner, he was he was a tremendous man to ride for. When you don the silks, you, you put them on with pride. When you talk about judgment, you talk about excellence. And when you talk about Prince Khaled, you talk about loyalty. You know, the loyalty he gave to Henry, I can't tell you how important that was, especially during those quiet years he had. He was a good winner, good loser, uh, just an all-around gentleman, just a really true sportsman. He was a wonderful owner to deal with, and um, I mean, I, I will, I, I owe him everything. I don't think we can ever underestimate the achievement of putting together what he put together. He threw everything he had at the breeding of the perfect racehorse, and he, he got it. There is a man that raised Frankel, Kingman, and Abel, and he gave us, through his brilliance, these wonderful horses to enjoy. Racing owes him so much, and, um, you know, you can't really put it into words. He was a colossal contributor to racing. He did it in his own extraordinary way, and he was an, an amazing, very patrician gentleman uh, to be with, but a, and a very human man. I don't think there's anybody who's had a life in horses like Prince Khaled Abdullah.